Side will lean. It's there with Lilin. William and Barabi to throw it to this line out. Epin Ruavesi, Evia Silo, and Inia Wanga. William and Barabi waiting. William Barabi. Referee playing advantage. Now nicely done that time. It's Lelin that is moving across. Forgot to connect that pass. And they lost that ball for and at halftime. At Chetzel Park in Lautoka in the under 17 grade. Maris leading Lelin 15 points to 8. Ladies and gentlemen, the halftime Led by inside center Ratu Simeone Matani Tombua. They're waiting for Lelin to make their way. So coming back now. Half back, Semi Mahihura to start it off for Marist. Fifteen points to eight. They're waiting on Semi, they're waiting on the referee to Sevi. Next uh, thirty five minutes uh, starts now with Semi Mahihu. Semi high into there from Semi Mayura running in the contesting that one. He was in front of uh, the ball. He was off the front. The knock on came in from Lelin Huka, William Mbaravi, a player in the front. A penalty been given. Saki Usawanga. Saki Usawanga has been called up for this penalty. Just uh, a minute into the second half. Saki Usawanga. The fullback, he was successful with this last one. A try to prop Joshua Rongwe Muri was converted by Saki Sawanda for Maris to lead 15 points to lead. Saki Sawanga moves this time, he raises the flag again. Saki Usawanga have raised the flag. 18 points to 8. <laughs> Lilin coming back uh, into the 10 meter. Taniela Wanga, quick restart from Taniela Wanga. But running away from him, the Maris using the forward pack and a rainbow is over, over. Saki Usawanga. Nicely done for this time. The that was nice move from Tui Ravi Ravi in the better. 
to Saki Usawanga. It shows that uh, this place has been playing together for some time. Saki Usawanga, but it's passed to winger Kustian Wanga Sanini. Lilin to throw into this one, William Mbaravi. He's throwing straight to the Maris to Narun at number eight. Counter racking. It's there for Johnny Randua. Maris the playing. Randua driven backward. The penalty given. Keep your take a low. Quickly taken. Sakiu Saki Sawanga. Now the half back is running away. They're making uh, advance into this Lilin side. Lost forward by Narun. It's a four. Lilin. Half back uh, Ratupeni Matawalu is there. They're looking for that quick feed into the scrum. Apolosi Mataisa will have to clear it quickly. That has been the game plan now. The forward drive coming, but Matei Sao picks it up. He offloads a straight line to Taniela Wanga. Still going. Ratusimi coming to cut that off. It's there for Lilin. They're running out of the Maris back wide. Malilin, the hooker running through. It's there, they have the numbers, number 14, but uh, covering takeover from Maris. Great cover takeover time forces the, the wing on this side, Mesake Wunimbaka, out of the field of play. Great uh, run that time from William and Baravi, Baravi to Mesake Wunimbaka, but Wunimbaka just did not have enough pace to outrun the covering defense that was coming from us. Lionel Monua. Monua throws. The throw not as straight. He throw it straight. And uh, we cross down to Chokatamangyo with the Lelian camp. I'm at the Lelian bench and heading to the second half. Coach, what was the message of the second half? We have to open the game up. Eh? Uh, don't uh, give the ball to Maris. Don't open it up. Uh, don't uh, commit uh, to the foot as they have a heavy, very heavy fall back. Uh, we do hope that this second half will uh, improve and uh, squat us. Thank you. Thank you, coach. That is it. Lelin is switching to the back line and they're going to open the game up to counter the heavy Maris forward back. Lelin scoring that move with a try scored. Overlap the Lelin camp, the Lelin fans who are here to watch their under 18 also are celebrating. They, they use the tweet the well, the Lelin team that line out, they set it up in that forward before moving it on and uh, they score their second round. Inside backs working as a unit, firing it out wide. And the try Penny Mata Kimbao scoring that. Fifteen points to that in. It's 
18 points to 13. It's still Maris that is on the lead. Talking about the Lilin camp. They're waiting for this one. They need to set this as a platform for their under 18. Semi Mahi Hura high into there. They're back by Christine Ryan, but Lilin was there. Nicely move from the Lilin inside back. As they're running out now, Lilin. Daniela Wanga, Penny Matakimbau. Daniela Wanga, the offload. They're coming out for a ring, Lilin. Nicely from there, offload. They're playing touch rugby, William and Baravi. The live wire hooker. Baravi. Penalty given, the number four, that is uh, Epin Ruovesi. And bring off to the rack. That is what the referee is explaining. The referee is saying that he came on the wrong side. It was there with Huka William and Baravi. He set it up. It's with Maris the inside of the Lelin. 10 meter. Lionel Monua. Monua. The driver comes. Uh, the truck and trailer. Referee said that, that they were accidentally ahead of uh, the ball carrier. William Mbaravi has been the live wire of this Lilin forward pack. John Randu have been replaced now. Been replaced by Tomasi Saurongo. Tomasi Saurongo coming in for John Randu. Mbaravi throws nicely done. The same one, Melimbongi Leka. Narun came in to shut him down. It's there for Lilin. They're using the back line well. <laughs> Out wide, they put them dashing. The cover tackle coming in from Maris. Advantage has been played by referee. Maris up offside. Maris will up offside. Will they give it to fly half Taniela Wanga? They quickly take quick tap that time. Paula Varuru. Again. The overlap is on. It's there for Mesake Vunimbaka. Vunimbaka feeding. Lelin have gone over for their dead try. Lelin have gone over for their dead try. Outside centre, Sireli Kawa. Sireli Kawa scoring the try. It was Mesake Vunimbaka, then Sireli Kawa crossing over. Eighteen all. It's eighteen all now. We halfway through the second half. 
Lelin 18, Maris the 18. To Ravi Ravi in the Veta. Now they've given it to Saki Usawanga to start this. Coming back, uh, it's Saki Usawanga talking to the players. Although Rotusimi is this captain, Semi Mahirura. High in there from uh, Semi. It's there for Lelin. They're running this Mari side, Aquila. Coming back now for Ratu Penny. It's the live wire who cut William and Baravi. William and Baravi. It's there for Lelin. Dancing around is uh, Inia Wanga. Every silo. For Lockford, Epin Robesi, cutting back is Melin Bongileka. The referee playing advantage. Tackle way high from Maris. Penalty given to Lelin. The look for the touchline here. Daniela Wanga looking for the touchline. William Mbaravi to throw into this lineup. Baravi. They lost uh, that one uh, forward. They lost uh, that ball uh, forward, uh, Lilin. Fully. It will be semi Mahihura to feed into this crowd. They line up Sakusawanga to try and clear this ball. It's there and a run controlling. Sakusawanga kicks and a finding touch inside their own 10 meter line. 18 all. But it has been Lelin that has scored three tries to Maris two tries. The difference has been in Sakusawanga's boot. William Mbaravi has played well, Lili Muka. Wanga again lost that to the forward. Another scrum to go down. Less than 13 minutes of play remaining in the second half. Semi Mayura, the half bet. They move up Saki Usawanga. So to Ravi Ravi Daveta will move backwards. That's a penalty. That's penalty. Could be in binding. 
The signal from referee says that he dropped the shoulder. He dropped his shoulder during the bind. So a penalty has been given. Wanga just finding touch. Few meters inside Lilian Saf. Taken by Christian Ryan. He has put that one backwards. Penalty been given. Not supposed to come off uh, that. They'll use this tactic. The Maris back. <coughs> Maris will use this. Because they know this is where their strength is. And that time they lack Saki Wang again. To try to find touch. Elin coming into the second half with open rugby. Really, they have played well in the second half of Elin. They throw everything to this Murray side. This seems to be another mall that will be formed. It's there. They'll go as a unit. They're running. It was their penalty given again. They'll again kick it out. Or oh, we'll we go for the upright. Saki Usawanga. Ratusimi Matani Tombu are talking. That's the team warning now to Lelin. Referee talking to fly half. Daniela Wanga, another of that same infringement, could see one of the Lelin players going to the bench. But they've changed their tactic, they'll run at Lelin. <laughs> it's there for Hukas Manoa! Lanlan Manoa! A set move from Maris! A set move from Maris and Lionel Manoa has gone over to score their second their, their try. A set move from uh, Maris and uh, the fans uh, go wild here. Lionel Manoa. <laughs> He runs away from the rest of the pack. And it was where uh, Sake Munimbaka was standing. He picked this man. He chose the right man to run. And scored that strike. Simon Lilithama. Of course, he will not be here for Maris next year in the under 18 grades. He's moving on to New Zealand to continue his rugby career. Lilithama moves! Lilithama presses the friend! Simon Lilithama raises the flag. 25 points to 18. Still 10 minutes left. In rugby, that is still a lot of time where Lilin can come back into this game. It will be for Captain Taniela Wanga. Taniela Wanga waiting for referee Sella, Master Sella. They're waiting for the replacement too to come in. Narun goes up. They were waiting for the reserves to come in. They're replacing 
Anare Mbuli Sova Sova. They're replacing Anare Mbuli Sova Sova. They brought in Ambaramo Mbakanida. Wanga high into there again, Narun the money man for Maris. He goes up. Uh, He's been driven backwards, but the rest of his forwards is there. Wanga. It's there for Marius, and uh, he lost uh, that ball forward. He lost uh, that ball uh, forward. Ratupeni Matawalu came off his hand, rather. And uh, it's there for Marius. Replacement half back. Limone Kelepi to feed into this. They've set the back line, they've split it up. Matani Tombua and Lili Dama the other side. Wanga into the grandstand side. The big one this afternoon. That's the last for the afternoon will be Lelin and RKS. Comes off. They offload. They're still going around Sakusa Wanga. He decided to continue with his forward. Going in forward now. Osea Tamani. It's there with Tamani. Half back. Vilimone uh, Kelepi there waiting. They keep it tight. Uh, It's close to the touchline. Another pick and driver, that's uh, Tomasi Saurongo. The rest of the forward are coming in, so half back. Uh, Sakyu Sawanga, the mistake coming in and this could be positive. Lelin is also running away. Lelin will go under the upright in the Awanga. Mistake come from Saku Sawanga and Inyawanga is there to score the time. The prize not being awarded. We we'll just have to see the play. The prize was not the, the the tackle was went high. The assistant ref had his flag out. Assistant ref had his uh, hand out. He talk about the tackle that went high from Lelin. Lelin Huka, William Mbaravi will be spoken to. The tackle went high. William Mbaravi. He could clearly show that was the move that uh, resulted in the try. But earlier on that, uh, William Mbaravi, the tackle from Mbaravi went high and unfortunate for Maris, for rather Lilin, the try was not awarded. It was a high tackle for William Mbaravi. The team was put on notice already and referee did not hesitate to award again Lelin using Lelin spreading this ball wide it's uh, there for Lelin they are running still there the cover defense comes and cut him off It will be Lionel Monua to throw into this. Less than five minutes of play remaining. This smart side has not tasted defeat since the under 14. They've been the champion in the under 14, champion in the under 15. They were the champion last year. And just now a few mini minutes away, they could be the champion again in this under 17. But Christian Ryan has been the go-to man. They're slowly forming. They've been doing this uh, throughout. 
they slowly going as a team they continue to go the advantage comes that's uh, collapsing them all Saki Usawanga Lili Dhamma still there for Simon Lili Dhamma Maris know very well that advantage still continue Referee playing advantage. The big man goes straight. They coming back in field now. Taken back by Lely and they turn this one over. <laughs> the kick not going. The cross kick not going. Maris the playing advantage is the referee. He was playing advantage all along. So talking to his assistant referee now. Remember, the team has already put on notice. A yellow card will slowly go. A team warning was already issued by the referee. The second infringement will, of course, insulted in a player sent to the beam. But running into their own man, Lelin, half back, Ratu Penny. Finding touch uh, inside. Home 22 Lelin. Taking the Duka William Mbaravi is out of the field of play. They're playing with 13 players. There will be a lot of uh, change in position for these players. Twenty-five points to eighteen. As Narun also makes his way outside. Within the 22, referee playing advantage, the kick comes in. Saki Usawanga is back there. Dancing from Saki Usawanga. He replies with another call. It's there for fullback Chonetani Veitau. Chonetani dancing Simi comes uh, to Rotu Simi comes to close him down. He should have allowed uh, it. Half back Ratupeni Matawalu. Open side flanker Aminyasi Dula. But kill. Lost the forward by Maris. This could be a penalty. Yes, it will be a penalty. They lost it forward. A Maris player in front. Maris was not repeating 10 meters. Now, Lelin. They're using the numbers of fullback. Dancing is Chonetani for number 22. And Chonetani to Vasu. Ratu Orisi. They've been able to hold into this. They've turned that ball over Maris. Advantage the play by referee. It's there for Lili. Lili is 10 meters away. Picked up already taken. It's there with Penny Kandralebu. Inside is Amini Asadula, the open side flank. Behind him is Sayasi Mbalemwala. They lost that ball forward. They lost that 
ball for Ward. They lost that ball for Ward in that test set move, Lillian. It came so close, but they lost it as the big man now make his way in. Tafa Varea, the short put champion of Maris, now makes his way into the field of play. Tafa Farrea is a short put champion in Maris. Willy Moneke Lepi, the halfback for Maris. It's a team that has been put together by...